What's going on guys? Welcome to episode two of The New Office. Let's get into it. I figured I'd show you guys around The New Office. This is it. What do you guys think? All right, let me get you down from there. Real quick, shout out Stranger Things. Anybody else watching the new season, Stranger Things? We got one episode left, and it is so damn good. Stranger Things is one of my favorite shows. But all right, anyways, getting into it. All right, so welcome, welcome to the office, guys. So let me just give you a quick little tour, all right? So here we are in the absolute corner of the room. Over here, we have a closet. This is gonna be just like storage and things like that. We have this wall over here which actually was originally, I think, gonna be where I put my desk, but we ran into a couple little issues. I'll get to that here in a second. Um, over here, we have just a nice big wall, and then we have the window over here. I have my monitors down here. They're obviously not hooked up yet because the desk isn't up, so I can't attach them to anything quite yet, so they're just laying here chilling. I have my PC set up right here with like the most jerry rig setup you've ever seen in your life. Uh, well, maybe not as jerry rig as my mic in the last video, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But we have it laid against the cardboard boxes, high tech. But no, I just had to set up a computer to test the uh, internet speed. So super janky, but just temporarily, obviously. Tabletops over here, that's for my desk. This one you guys saw in the last video. This is an older tabletop. We might bring it back for the second part of the desk, like the L. Couple Alex drawers for the desk. Got some artwork over there. We're gonna figure out how to hook up. Um, right now I have Vajira, if you guys know Vajira. He does gym streams. I have him up just while I'm chilling, getting some work done, moving some stuff around. I have shoes over here. But this being my office, you know, obviously audio is very important. That AC unit up there, the loudest AC unit I've ever heard in my life. It is so loud. So I had maintenance come in to see if they could do anything. They couldn't, of course. So it's gonna leave me with a couple options. Either I can turn off the air every time I stream or do YouTube videos, <clears throat> which is obviously a pain in the ass. Or um, I actually have some soundproofing panels coming just for the room. So I'm going to line the inside of this room, this little tiny room right here. I think we can live with it, but I will say originally I was gonna have my desk over here on this wall. And with that being right there, there's just absolutely no way. So now I've kind of started thinking about making my desk against this wall, maybe making an L in front of that window, that way. Hello, it is later the same day. Let me show you guys a little bit what I've been working on. So this is obviously not done, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. Now I have things laid out. I decided to put those Alex drawers on either side over here and here. The middle's a little messy with those Ikea like sawhorse legs, whatever you want to call them. It's a little messy, but it should work for now. I don't really want to have to replace all the furniture, so. Might just be how it is for now. Um, I'm waiting on a couple monitor arms come from Amazon. They should be here today, actually. So that's about it for now. I'll fill you guys in uh, the next step. I just wanna kinda of show you guys what I got on this Amazon haul, if you will. So first thing, I got the monitor arms for the stream setup that's gonna be right here where the camera is pretty much, basically. So I got, I'm gonna put those together here in a little bit. I got two packs of foam core to soundproof this room a little bit. Probably fix some of that AC if you guys can hear that right now. It probably shouldn't be too bad where the camera's set up right now, but that is the, it's the audio that I was talking about having a little bit of an issue with. Uh, moving on, I got this compact Manfrotto tripod. Gonna be used for vlogging. Also, when I'm streaming, it's just what the camera's gonna be sitting on. Just some necessities here. I just got a longer USB-C cable for the Sony to plug it in while it's charging. It's got some command strips here. Then I picked up a second Elgato Camlink 4K. I use one currently to hook up the Sony if I'm streaming. I've used it before in the past for the GoPro to hook it up, but since I want to have both at the same time, I need a second one, so I picked that up as well. So, oh yeah, also got a little decoration in here but I don't want to show you guys all the decorations quite yet. 
What's going on guys? So now it's been a couple of days since I've last updated you. I've just been working on packing a lot of the rest of the apartment. I have worked on the office a little bit here as you can see. We got some moving parts. We got some moving parts going. So I've decided to do kind of an L desk like this. Um, it needs to be touched up a little bit, but I have the custom built PC over here. I've decided to kind of separate everything. So as I've told you guys before, I do a lot of my creative stuff on my MacBook just to be able to take it back and forth between work, um, work on my personal stuff, take it on the go. So I've just decided to separate my MacBook setup from my gaming and streaming setup. That 22 inch LG monitor I had that's kind of older that I wanted to replace actually works pretty well for vertical and it takes up less real estate on the desk. So I actually like that quite a bit. Now, MacBook setup is gonna be kind of like a minimalist setup, I think. It's the approach I'm gonna go, so actually I'm gonna lay everything out for that right now. I love my iPad Pro for some creative work. What's a new desk setup without a fresh cup of coffee though? Hang on. Can't forget about the coffee. So I don't know if you guys will be able to tell or not, but I'm actually using a different camera today. So I'm actually thinking about switching back to Canon. Um, I've been a Canon user my whole life. That's something that I'll talk about in a future video, but I am just testing it out for the weekend and we're gonna see how I like it. Man, I'll tell you right now, I've never had my own dedicated space for creative work. You know, in college, it was always just in my bedroom. Ever since then, it's always either been in my bedroom or my last apartment when I lived on my own, it was in my living room. It was actually like kind of the kitchen nook, like a dining room table nook. So it's still kind of out in the open. Uh, you know, if my girlfriend was over, everything like that, it was just kind of in the middle of everything. It's just cool to separate work from the rest of our living because it's cool. I can just come in here, it's my own vibe, I can decorate how I want. It kind of just puts me in this mindset when I come in here that it's time to work, it's just to get shit done. So, so far I'm loving having my gaming and streaming setup separate from my MacBook and editing setup. You guys might be able to hear the AC kicked on, it should be a whole lot better than it was before. You know me, we do some ghetto rigs around here and yeah, I'll show you guys what I did. So let me show you real quick. Now, I will tell you right now, this is not a professional setup. I do not know if this is actually safe, but I'm gonna show you guys what I did. You remember how I told you when we did that Amazon unboxing, how I got all these, uh, I got two packs of these foam core pieces right for uh, sound dampening the entire office? I might have uh, decided to sound dampen the uh, AC unit room, so let, let, check this out. All right, so in case it's really loud, what I'm gonna tell you right now is I basically put sound panels around the entire inside up there, even on the ceiling and right here as you can see. So, so it's still open right now, so you can probably still hear it a little bit, but man, I'm telling you, it is so much better than it used to be. I remember I told you guys originally, I was thinking about making my desk on this wall, but I actually love it in this corner over here. So, I don't know. Cool, so right now we're headed to Micro Center. I know I need to pick up an HDMI cable, and also I'm gonna look for a big mouse pad for the streaming setup, so we'll see if we get anything else, but those are two things I know I need. So if you guys have never been to Micro Center, it's basically a nerd's paradise. Um, it's just a giant superstore for computer and camera parts. It's where I got all the pieces to build my PC. It's the kind of place where you walk in and you're like, hey, I'm trying to build a computer that can handle running Apex at 144 frames a second while I'm also streaming. And they're like, oh yeah, okay, you need these parts and these parts. So this place is insane. If you guys have one around you, I think they're nationwide just sporadically, but it's an awesome store. Like I said, we only need a couple small things, so hopefully we don't walk out with anything more. So let's go inside. Damn, look at all these mouse pads. Cool, so I actually want one that's about the same size as my other one, and I'm actually gonna get this glorious PC gaming race. It's almost the same exact size as my other one. At some point I do wanna get a new keyboard. Not yet though, not yet. Also, I don't know if I'm gonna stay with Corsair. Me HDMI cable, holy shit. 
Alright, I actually want one longer than this, but for testing purposes, we're just gonna pick this up. So the HDMI cord I got is actually for this camera. So if I do switch to this Canon EOS R, which I'm actually really loving it so far, it just takes a different cable, so I need to test it, see that you can use this to live stream, so I just wanna test that out before I invest in this, obviously, so had to pick up the HDMI cable for it. We got that and just that mouse pad. I got out of there without buying anything else, so I'm gonna call that a win. I'll see you guys back at the office. All right, first things first. This should be about the same as my other one, and I do like this brand. So let's see, I've actually had a mouse pad of theirs in the past. Let's see how this looks. Ooh, buddy. Let me move this fancy screwdriver. Ooh, I like it. It is massive. What up guys, so right now, I think it is the next day since I've updated you guys. I went to Ikea today, I built these two shelves. Man, they were a nightmare to build, but I think I'm done building things for the office at this point. So I'm testing out the camera angle of the stream, that's my thing to do tonight. Make sure everything in the background looks good and all that. Clean up this mess, put things on shelves, all that. Finish decorating a little bit. So the plan right now is I'm going to try to stream tomorrow night and it'll kind of be like the welcome back stream in the new office. Everything is not gonna be perfect, but my goal tonight is to just kind of set up everything, see how things are looking, test things out on like a fake account and see if we're doing good. So I'm pretty excited. It's really starting to feel kind of like an office space at this point. And man, I'm just feeling grateful. I'm really excited about the office. I'm going to get things on the shelves, get things on the walls and I'm excited to show you guys the final product. All right guys, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. So the next episode of this series on YouTube will be kind of the completed office once I get everything finished, everything cleaned up, everything decorated, all that kind of stuff here. So that'll probably be in a few weeks, just depending on how long it takes me to get everything kind of polished and set up, but I want that last episode to be pretty sick. So I'm actually gonna go get Chipotle right now. So today's question of the day, if you go to Chipotle, are you getting a bowl or a burrito? Let me know in the comments below. So that's gonna be it. Like, comment, subscribe, all those things really help the channel grow and it would mean a lot to me. And with all that being said guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.